Long time effort to extend the CTA red line train on Chicago's south side gets a big boost today. As WGN's Gaynor Hall reports, the project will receive a huge amount of federal funds. Line currently ends on the city's south side, but the long awaited red line extension project is now a step closer to changing that. Yes, I heard about this project years back, and now they're finally doing it. I'm so happy. It's a project some CTA riders have been waiting for for decades. It is a transformational investment for the far south side. This is a promise that we're going to see to completion. CTA received a commitment from the federal government for nearly $2 billion in funding, about half of the projected cost for the red line extension, and what would be the largest transit infrastructure grant ever awarded to the agency. Every once in a while, we get a president with the leadership skills and a Congress who is ready to move, and we get something done that literally will change the face of Chicago and the future of hundreds of thousands of people. The project has been cleared to head into the engineering phase, the final step before construction, and trains could be running on the new tracks in 2029. Public transportation, as you've heard, doesn't just move people, it moves opportunity. Last year, the City Council approved a tax increment financing district to support the project. The plan is to extend the red line more than five miles from 95th Street to 130th near Altgill Gardens, building four new stations and opening transit options for historically underserved communities, where some have mega commutes of 90 minutes or more to get to work. And for too long, Southside residents have been hindered by barriers to transportation. But that's changing today. Today, we're beginning to right the historic wrongs. We know that there is not a good alignment between where people live uh, on, along this corridor and where the good paying jobs are. And that's why this rail line extension is so important. It's imperative because it's going to start to close that gap. Federal funding for the project is expected to be granted next year and official construction on the red line extension is on track to start in 2025. Along the red line tonight, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.